Hey folks, I want to do a quick video um, to show you the power of this scalping strategy with Impulse. Um, there's a reason why this thing is on fire right now. People are absolutely loving it and flocking to it, um, especially new people, um, because you know because of the very objective trading plan. And I've got it right here. All right, these are the steps. You know, is the pair trending? All right, and the way you find that out is the alert panel let you know that the way I landed on this pair the CAD yen right is I I saw these two blue arrows going up saying trend is up strength is up right I click on it and I've got all time frames up you know from the five minute right up to you know the daily right you only need you know five minutes to the one hour but we even got you know the four hour in the daily okay and the one minute was up as well just a few moments ago but it, it just flipped um, here just as I was recording this but we don't need that, right? We just need this, all right? So that tells me the pair I want to look at because it's trending on all time frames, right? Because you know if you're trying to, you know, it's trending up on all time frames, right? So if you're trying to sell in an uptrend, you're going to get your ass kicked, all right? So knowing which pairs to trade is half the battle, all right? Now that we know that this pair is trending and what direction it's trending in, right? You go to step two, all right? Is it within ten hours? of the five minute macro. Now this is a five minute scalping example I'm gonna show you. Uh, some people like to scalp on the one minute. If you're on the one minute, it's within two hours of the macro indicator. And you don't even know, need to know what it is, it's just this right here. You can turn it off with this switch, right? So I'm on the five minute, so I wanna be within 10 hours of this. If you're outside of the 10 hour window, then you know the quality goes way down, all right? So say you're coming to the computer right around this time. Okay, and you can see here within three hours of that macro, the trend is up as it says, and you can see all these little, you know, um, blue arrows and red arrows, right? And all these arrows are saying is in that point in time for this particular candle, right? All the data, it takes about 50 different data points, and all those data points together confirm that this is a, you know, in a bullish situation. Right, you can see here this, this next one is a red candle, but it's got a blue arrow saying, hey, this is still a bullish situation and it, and it, and it goes up, right? And the reds are the opposite. You know, if there's a red one, that means it's a bearish situation. And then if there's a circle with a line through it, that just means the data is neutral. Like it, it doesn't say, you know, it doesn't you know, lean one direction or another. It's just neutral, okay? So are we within 10 hours of the macro? Yes, because we're, we're, you know, we're coming to the computer, let's say here, we're just a couple hours away from it. So the next one is wait for four opposite candles. And I should change that to opposite arrows. <clears throat> All right. And let me go back in here and change this as well. Make it more accurate here. So wait for four opposite arrows, right? So what do I mean by opposite arrows? Well, if the trend's up, right? And we want to trade up opposite arrows would be the red arrows, right? So we're sitting here watching this and then we get a red arrow, all right? But we need four of them, a minimum of four. And then the next one is a blue and we need a minimum of four in a row. So next is blue. So that doesn't qualify. So we go back to waiting, right? Then we get a red, all right? But then we get a blue right after that. So we go back to waiting and then we get a red and then another red, another red, another red. So we get four reds. So now we're looking for a blue. All right, and then the very next one happens to be a blue, so this is go time, right? And what we do is <clears throat> we do what's called a, a volatility stop loss by measuring this volatility band. All right, this is gonna how we're gonna figure out our stop loss. So we measure the outer of this gray band here, all right? And then you take this and just move it to the entry of that candle, and down here is your stop loss. And you can see it went into a little bit of profit and came back well within the stop loss and then took off for a great scalp all right and you can see here another opportunity right after it right so boom we get a red arrow all right one two three four all right so we get the minimum of four now we're waiting well actually sorry there's a blue right here okay so then it's one two three four all right and now we're waiting for the blue we happen to get a few more reds and then boom there's the blue all right we draw our <clears throat> volatility stop loss and you're taught how to do this in the training the training is less than 30 minutes all right come down here 
and down here's your stop loss. And you can see two positions, great scalp, right? And when you're scalping, you're just getting in the market and getting out. So maybe you're grabbing three pips, five pips, 10 pips. You know, maybe you're going for, you know, like half a percent or something like that, right? It's just scalping, it's just getting in and getting out, right? And uh, with impulse and these indicators here, it makes it very, very powerful. And like I said, I mean, you tell me whether you think this is, you know, simple or difficult, you know, what do you think, right? It's just very, very objective. And these are all yes or no. <clears throat> is, the, is, the chair, is the pair trending? Yes or no, all right? Is it within 10 hours of the five minute macro or if you're on the one minute within two hours of the macro? You get your four opposite arrows, <clears throat> right? These are yes or no answers. If you, if, if, you, if you answer no to any of these, you don't take the trade. All right, so check it out, guys. You can get a seven day money back guarantee. You know, practice this on a demo account. You know, don't go live and blow your money. Get on a demo account, practice, make sure you get really, really good at it. And then once you're good at it, you can do whatever you want, right? But you, you, you don't wanna, you know, because when you're new, you're gonna press the wrong buttons, you're gonna make some mistakes, you're gonna compromise your trading plan, you know, um, you know, you're gonna do a lot of stupid stuff. So you want to just practice on a demo account, get really, really, really good on a demo account. Then after that, do whatever you want, all right? So again, send me uh, a message, I'll, I'll get you plugged in. You can try it out for seven days, risk-free. It's a seven day money back guarantee. The company's been around for over a decade. They don't mess around. They'll give you 100% of your money back if you're not happy. But if you're like anything else, anything else like the other thousands of people that are that are using this, you know, there's 12,000 logins a day. Last time I checked, 11 million logins since its launch. Um, just extremely popular. If you're anything like those people, you're gonna love this tool and you'll be with us for a long time, okay? But like I said, if you're not, get your money back, no problem at all, all right? I'll look at my inbox. I look forward to receiving your message. Talk to you later, bye.